This video is brought to you by Ashtanga for Dummies. Get my eight tips for thriving with Ashtanga Yoga at yogatraveler.net slash Ashtanga Yoga. Hi, let's talk about Sanskrit today. So I'm a yoga teacher. I've been teaching for almost 10 years and I was trained in Sanskrit, which is the universal yoga language. And sometimes I forget that not everybody knows what Sanskrit is. I think it's important to learn at least some basic Sanskrit. It's important for the yogic tradition. This is the universal language of yoga. I had a personal experience where I taught yoga in Japan to Japanese students. I didn't know Japanese. They didn't know English but we all knew Sanskrit because it, it bridges language barriers. So I think it's very important to learn and to embrace some of the yogic traditions and yoga history, and that is the Sanskrit. So what I try to do when I teach in my classes, I will say both the English version and the Sanskrit version. Not every teacher does that. Um, Sometimes I wonder if it gets confusing for students to go back and forth just a little bit, but I try to give them that the knowledge of both so that they can follow along. And like I said, not every teacher will do that. So you might want to be prepared and know what this Sanskrit is so that as you are following on in along in a yoga class, you won't be left behind. So let's talk about a few of the terms with the Sira Namaskara sequence. Now right there, that is a Sanskrit term. It means sun salutation. You've probably heard sun salutation a thousand times, but maybe you haven't heard Sira Namaskara. I say skara, some people say Sira Namaskar. It's the same thing, Sira Namaskara A and B. So let's go through both of those sequences and break down what the English terminology is and the Sanskrit terminology so that if you are in a yoga class with a teacher who speaks, who teaches only with Sanskrit, you will know what's going on. Let me step back to my mat. And we begin with Samastiti. Samastiti is sometimes called um, mountain pose or Tadasana is another, that's actually Sanskrit as well. I'm familiar with Samastiti. So that's our face together, arms by our side. I've just turned profile so you can see what my body's doing. So they may say Samastiti, and you know that you come to standing tall. And you're going to start the sequence with the breath. Inhale, we lift up, Urva Hastasana. This is reaching our arms up to the sky. A teacher who's not using Sanskrit might say, inhale, lift your arms. I'm not exactly sure what the layman's term of this pose is. Urva Danyarasana. Oh, I just said it wrong. Urva Hastasana is the lift. So let's start again. We have Samastiti. You can repeat it after me. That helps with your memory, right? Samastiti. Inhale, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. So that might be what someone says, forward fold. But if you hear Uttanasana, you know it's a forward fold. Repeat it after me, Uttanasana. Very good. Now halfway lift, Arda Uttanasana. Arda is half. So it's the same pose, it's just half of it. Instead of folding all the way forward, we're lifting halfway. Ardha Uttanasana. Repeat it after me. Ardha Uttanasana. Good. Most people know this one. Chaturanga. That's our yoga push-up, so someone might call it yoga push-up. But you now know Chaturanga. Inhale. Urva Mukha Swanasana. Now that one's tricky. Let's break that one down. Urva Mukha Swanasana. That's upward facing dog. So some people might just call it Urva Mukha and they just let go of the Swanasana. 
I like to say the full thing because it takes that much time to lift up and it helps the students to use their whole breath instead of just coming here and going straight up like this. And then where else do they go? So we can use that whole term, chaturanga, urva mukha swanasana. We keep moving through the whole thing. Here's the next one, ara mukha swanasana. Now most people know this pose as downward facing dog, but you might have a teacher that says Adha Mukha Swanasana. Repeat it after me. Adha Mukha Swanasana. Good. Bend your knees, look forward, step up. What was this pose called? This half pose called? Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold into the full forward fold. What was it called? Uttanasana. Inhale, now we just reverse all of this. We reach our arms up and it is called Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands by our side and it's called Samastiti. Maybe you were following along as we went. <laughs> Excellent. Now with Sira Namaskara B. Sira Namaskara, you know that that is sun salutation. B. We add just a few more poses. So some of these we already know and we can start getting them into our language library. Begin with Utkatasana. Inhale, bend. Utkatasana. This is chair pose or some, uh, I think the other term for it is fierce pose. Most people call it chair pose. But you know now that this Sanskrit is Utkatasana. Say it with me, Utkatasana. Good. Now we move to what we already know. This is our forward fold. It is Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. It is Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands down. I hope you know what this one's called. It is Chaturanga. Inhale, this is one of the long ones. Urva Mukha Swanasana. Exhale. Adha Mukha Swanasana. Very nice. Here's where we shift again and add another pose in. Step your right foot forward, drop your left heel down. Raise up. Anybody know what this is called? A teacher would probably say warrior one if they're not using Sanskrit. In Sanskrit, we say Virabhendrasana A. Virabhendrasana A. Say it after me. Virabhendrasana A. Good. From there, you might see another pose. This is deviating from the sequence, but you move it to this pose. This is Virabhendrasana B, warrior two. Both of these are in the warrior family. There's three of these warrior poses. Well, more than that if you count reverse warrior, which is Pravita Virabhendrasana. So anyway, we won't muddy the water too much today. Just remember Virabhendrasana in our sequence, we do A with the squared hips. In a class you might feel into the into the next pose, the warrior two pose, Vira Vendrasana B. So back to our sequence. Inhale, Vira Vendrasana A. Exhale, we step back. You say it this time. Then the next pose. And then the next pose. Good. Now, I don't know if you said it with me because you're not in my bedroom with me, but hopefully you said Chaturanga, Urva Mukha Swanasana, Adha Mukha Swanasana. Now, we just repeat all that on the left. Repetition is helpful for memory. Left foot forward, right heel down. Inhale. Remember what this is called? Virabhendrasana A. Exhale, hands back down. Your turn again. Next pose. And last pose. So we had 
Chaturanga. Urva Mukha Swanasana. Adha Mukha Swanasana. It has such a great rhythm, doesn't it? Bend your knees, look forward, this part we know as well. Halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Reach up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale. Samastiti. Oh, I forgot we're in Warrior 2. I mean, Sira Namaskara B, so we were supposed to come up this way. <laughs> what was this one again? Utkatasana. Then we straighten. Samastiti. Huh. A good thing I wasn't teaching you the sequence, just the Sanskrit that came behind it. So, see if you can run through those words, get them in your, in your mind, and then connect them with the movement through the body. You'll connect it with the breath, and you'll be on your way to starting your Sanskrit vocabulary. Thanks for joining me.